let's help Mr. Crocodile so that he can figure out which fraction's smaller and which is bigger. Let's compare 5 eighths and 7 tenths and see if we can help Mr. Crocodile figure out which fraction is bigger. This can be done by converting each fraction to an equivalent fraction, each of which has a common denominator. I'll show you one way to do this. First I'll work out what the common denominator is going to be by multiplying the denominators of the fractions we're comparing. 8 times 10 is 80. Now let's convert 5 eighths to an equivalent fraction that has 80 eighths as the denominator. What do you have to multiply 8 by to get 80? 10. To make an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the bottom half of a fraction by, you also have to multiply the top half of the fraction by. 5 times 10 is 50. So 5 eighths and 50 eightieths are equivalent fractions. Here are two ways of justifying what we've done. From our fraction wall, we know that 10 tenths is the same as one whole, or simply one. So multiplying 5 eighths by 10 tenths is really just multiplying 5 eighths by 1. But we know that if you multiply any number by 1, you get the same number. For example, 3 times 1 equals 3. We get a number with exactly the same value. By the same reasoning, 5 eighths has the same value as 50 eightieths. Another way to see this is using a diagram. Let's divide a rectangle up into eighths and colour 5 eighths of the rectangle yellow. Now let's see what 50 eightieths looks like. The relative amount of yellow hasn't changed, so 5 eighths has the same value as, or is equivalent to, 50 eightieths. Let's convert 7 tenths to an equivalent fraction with eightieths as a denominator by the same method. What do you have to multiply 10 by to get 80? 8. To get an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the bottom half of the fraction by, you also have to multiply the top half of the fraction by. 7 times 8 is 56. So 7 tenths and 56 eightieths are equivalent fractions. Now we can compare the numerators because the denominators are the same. 56 is bigger than 50. Or 56 eightieths is bigger than 50 eightieths. Which means 7 tenths is bigger than 5 eighths.